What age did you lose your virginity? Have I ever tried drugs? <laughs> Should I be scared? Because I'm not your friend. That's just... <laughs> yeah. No. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm not alone today. I'm actually joined by my mum. <laughs> this is my mum, Julie. It's really weird saying your name out loud. And for today's video, I'm gonna be asking her questions that you're too afraid to ask your mum. Perfect. talking a few weeks ago and she was saying that it would be cool for me to do a video where I ask her questions that I've always wanted to know the answer to. So I've put together a list of questions that I've always wanted to know the answer to but also you guys over on Instagram gave me some questions that you're too afraid to ask your mums because I, I would say you're pretty cool like we talk about most things don't we? I think. <laughs> We talk about most things. I mean, I'm 23, so it's not like I'm a little kid anymore or anything. So, but there yeah. are always things you should never talk about. Yeah, <laughs> which we're gonna get That's, into today. Yeah. <laughs> you guys came through with so many good questions over on Instagram. I literally have a massive list here of all the questions you guys gave me. So we might have to do a part two of this video if we don't get through them all today. <laughs> also, make sure to head over to my Instagram and follow me on there so that you don't miss out on getting involved in any future videos. Okay, should we start with an easy one? Well, I think this is an easy one anyway. Yes, but. please. How old were you the first time you got drunk and where? Ooh, um, <laughs> I'm 53. Does my memory go back that far? <laughs> the first thing that jumps into my head, I don't know whether it's the first time, but... Um, probably about 18 or 19 and really we had a house party that's me and my dad it was perno and black because i still can't stand the oh, smell oh of i remember you that. saying that actually <laughs> the stain never came out the garden oh question number two did you ever sneak someone into your parents house without them knowing yes but they weren't there <laughs> where were they <laughs> don't know i think they've gone away um i don't know yeah, they, they've gone away somewhere. I can't remember where. It wasn't my dad then. No. No, this is when I was about 16. So my sister's on a break from school and our post lady just came and I got this little card from my dad. He's literally hand drawn and painted this. Just a little card to say how proud he is of me for doing my channel. That is such a weird coincidence well, that we're literally well, filming right now. So my sister's come to join us because she is on a break from school. This is a very apt question for my sister to be here. Who's your favourite child? Oh. <laughs> Come on, standard parent answer as any parent will tell you you're all my favorite children okay so this leads me to my next question which i've actually always wanted <laughs> to know being a parent mm -hmm. is there like certain times where one child you prefer one child to the other like they're being a bit nicer to you no absolutely not it doesn't work really? like that because everybody has different qualities different days different moods and and they're all part of it aren't they so um, yes then. unless you're a parent <laughs> yourself you'll never know how that feels so yeah i can't wait to be a mum so i know i've got a favorite <laughs> she insists her brother's my favorite he is what's the craziest thing you've ever done crazy well it depends because my 50th birthday springs to mind only because i took myself off for a five day holiday on my own to yeah that was Crete. pretty cool um just because i wanted to i couldn't do anything like that i'm too scared to be on my own okay what do i do that annoys you the most i actually genuinely really want to know this yeah yeah you don't acknowledge what a beautiful soul oh. you are <laughs> i knew it was gonna be that you're always putting yourself down uh. but you knew that anyway <laughs> didn't you i would love to see you love and acknowledge yourself more <laughs> i feel weird asking the next one in front of rue <laughs> she's gonna see the video anyway okay the big one <laughs> No, it's not really the big one, but should I be scared? I've always wanted to know this, so it's it's not it's not oh, yeah, whatever. What age did you lose your virginity? Oh that is a question <laughs> and that kind of yeah. that's a really uncomfortable question. Um <laughs> Was it like twelve? No. <laughs> I'm trying to weigh up the moralistic things of having your 12 year old in there. I watch things, it's fine. Uh, okay, I'll ask you this one now. <laughs> so obviously that one, and do you think it's okay to have sex before the legal age of 16? Okay, well, I'll answer the other one first. Mm -hmm. um, and I was 16. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> when you're a kid experiencing everything, you think differently mm -hmm. to like how you think as a parent and how I think now. Mm -hmm. And I would hope that as a parent, you've passed on what you've learned and what you feel is more of a benefit. Yeah, so yeah. It's actually, for me, I passed on to you, hopefully, um, the bit about respecting yourself first. Yeah, definitely. So I don't think 16 the, is bad. Yeah, but I didn't know myself. I didn't know about yeah. valuing myself. It was all okay. done for different reasons. For that experience, I hope that that's benefited you. Yeah. And um, your little sister who sat on my shoulder and I put it in places. <laughs> I know I said all the questions are going to be anonymous, but this one's from Jake. <laughs> So, Thanks, Jake. So my mum does Reiki mm -hmm. and like holistic therapies. Would you yes. Call it? Yeah. Jake said, "How many people have you brought back to life with your voodoo thing?" <laughs> oh, it's. I don't know what to say to that. Um, big fat zero. <laughs> so what I do, what I teach, isn't about bringing people back to life. Mm. It's about teaching them to bring the life back to themselves. Yeah. What is the worst trouble you've ever gotten into from your parents? The first instance that pops to mind, because um, my parents were quite strict, was that I scribbled on the floor in the dining room. It was like lino squares. And at the time we must have had a house full because I'm the same age as some of the grandchildren. I've got five brothers and five <laughs> sisters. Yeah. And the old ones have children the same age as me. Maybe there were eight kids, six or eight kids in the house at the time. Mm. And when my mum saw it, she wasn't very pleased. Oh, God. There's a second one. Our house was powered by oil. And so for anyone that knows, you get a tanker come and put a hose, like a petrol hose, into a tank and it fills up. Okay. And inside our house, we had a boiler. When it ignited, would go... Whoosh, and there was a little circle with a fire that would come up. It would make a horrendous oh, cool. noise. But if we were naughty, we were made to go and stand by the man in the boiler. Which just... Oh, that's horrible. And I think... I must have heard when my older brothers and sisters used the slang term for tissue, snot rag. Yeah. And I said, pass me a snot rag, for, you know, yeah. thinking that I was quite cool. Yeah. Uh, for which I got told to go and stand by the man in the boiler. <laughs> For calling someone a snot rat. But that was a really big punishment to me. I called Billy a <laughs> once. <laughs> so I've already spoken to you about this one, but for anyone who maybe feels they can't speak to their mum and or their dad, what is a smear test like? Mum just had to take a phone call, so sorry if we've moved around a little bit, but yeah, what is a smear test like? A smear test um, is no problem. It's um, mm -hmm. normal. It's completely normal and essential girls. Yeah. Very, very essential. So important. Um, and it's just about relaxing. <laughs> Have you ever had a one night stand? I thought I did. <laughs> The, the intention was there at the beginning of the evening to have a one night stand. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a lot longer. <laughs> oh, was it Tad? No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> this one's from Charlie. He wanted me to give him credit in this video for Thanks, this question. Thanks, Charlie. I've actually got two from Char, so. If you had to get rid of one of your kids, which one would it be? <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer that one. That's just, yeah, no. I think I might know the answer to this one. Have you ever gotten into a fight? Have I ever gotten into a fight? Mm. If we're talking girl on girl action. <laughs> 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 then I had a fight at school. You know the ones where people go like hair pulling. Fight, and... fight, fight. I always yeah. wanted one of them, but I knew I'd never yeah. survive. I've got to say, she didn't come back for second. That wasn't me. Even then, that wasn't me. Um, but it was to do with picking on my friend. Yes, Rue. Hello. I just wanted you to ask a question tomorrow at one point. Oh. She has a kiss all made out of a girl. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a weird question. Not weird. <laughs> Where was I conceived? Can't tell you that. Not because I don't, I just can't recall that. Mm -hmm. um, but that, I, I bet she knows when my brother was conceived. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I can remember the evening that I did the pregnancy test. I can remember that really vividly. I always seem to know. That's what, when I was that's what a lot of people say. They just seem, know when it's I always seem to know, like you said about your brother, instantly I knew. I don't know why I don't recall yours exactly. Although it might have been the night that your brother came in, he was about five and said, Mum and Dad, why are you struggling? 
<laughs> Why are you struggling? But I remember, <laughs> so funny. I remember doing the test and I got in the bath just because it was, that's what I was doing. And dad came and sat on the loose seat. He was the one that saw, saw it. It was Valentine's night and he'd actually bought me a ring. Oh, that's a nice time. Yeah. Which I still have now. Really? Can I have it? <laughs> what is your view on me going to raves? Um... My view on anything that my kids do is that there are things they've got to experience. Yeah. And what I've learned in life with children is that if you allow them to do what they want to do and just put a logical sort of reason why mm -hmm. you would have thoughts about something, is that they have to experience these things. They've got to become the people that they're going to become. Yeah. This is a good one. I really like this one. What are your goals once your children are grown up and left home? I think I know this. <laughs> I love travel. Yeah. I love being on my own. The thought process is there that, you know, I may, even if it's not full time, live somewhere nice and warm. Yes, it's kind of, yeah, me time. Well, the oldest one is grown up and left home. I should be grown up and left home. <laughs> but then my sister, my little sister's like, um, have you ever disliked any of my photos on social media? No, because you're not that per you're not that person, are you? You're not yeah, I don't somebody so. who puts those kind of photos no. up there. Again, maybe there's some that have been, you know, you knocking yourself and I think, oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. But that's a real no. <laughs> have you ever tried drugs? Have I ever tried drugs? <laughs> yeah you were like an 80s 80s kid yeah so in all honesty i've smoked pot <laughs> once <laughs> once and okay. i didn't i couldn't work out what yeah everybody saw in it fair enough i think that's pretty normal for a kid like to try stuff it is Am I allowed to call it pot? That's not an old fashioned That's thing. why I laugh, just because pot is funny. <laughs> what is it? Um, <laughs> weed? I don't know. Pot, I'm, like, yeah, you can say pot. It's just, personally, I I don't say that, so I find it funny. <laughs> no, weeds. We, I wouldn't call it weeds, because when I was no, a No, weed. A weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this one. If you could relive one part of your life, what would it be? I'm just too busy enjoying now. No, because I, yeah. I have had a wonderful life, and... Yeah. I'm, yeah, still having one. I yeah. kind of thought that would be your answer because you, you're very live in the moment. Yeah, person. completely. Oh, this is the next one from Char. Bring it on, Char. <laughs> if you got offered £10 million to leave the UK and never return, would you? And where would you go? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere but the UK. Everywhere. You're not allowed to come back. What happens if you couldn't see us? Well, I'd make sure I had a place where you could all come out regularly and with oh, that money I'd found, pay for you to come out. She's found I've already pot. thought of it. <laughs> I thought you'd say Greece but everywhere is actually much better than Greece. I just think it's such an amazing planet and there's so many lovely places. You could go to space. No. We don't like space. No. When you were younger, what kind of parent did you think you would be and did you achieve that? Um, I thought I would be different to my parents. Just the generational thing again, my dad would have been 101 this year if he was still alive. So wow. he's kind of had a foot in the Victorian era. Very much sort of children seen and not heard. So I kind of thought, you know, turn that on its head. There are some things you have to, you know, because I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. I am your parent. Yeah, I'm a friendly and approachable parent, mm -hmm. and so in that makes you seem like a friend. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if I had to call shots on something, mm -hmm. then then I'll say it. Do you believe in love at first sight? Ooh, that's a massive question it because is, I believe in a connection. When you first see somebody, something inside. Um, triggers i mean without going into everything i believe in then yes that when you see that person that you really? know that that's part of your journey oh okay that's interesting do you have any regrets no not whatsoever no i didn't think so no because what i said earlier was that i am the person you know at 53 i am changing and evolving every day and i like me yeah no, that's good, that's good. And I like all of the experiences that have shaped me. Ruby asked you to ask me a question as well. Oh my God, do we have to? <laughs> have you ever kissed a girl or been with a girl? Is that how she phrased it? Yes, <laughs> not not for the purposes that uh, you think. I think it yeah. was a truth or dare game we were playing. Yeah. 
with a work lot, but it was really? a full-on snob. <laughs> what, tongues full and everything? Snob. Tongues? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Did you ever do anything that your parents didn't know about? Oh, everything. <laughs> really? Everything. My parents weren't the sort of weren't people involved. that you could tell them anything. Hang on, let me rephrase that, because now as a mother, I know <laughs> yeah, things exactly. about my kids that they don't think I know about them. <laughs> And it's may it might be from external sources or you know my who's my, your sources? Oh my no, god! No, just external sources might not be a person. So I probably know more than you think. Well, that's for another video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna have to leave this there, otherwise this video is gonna be about an hour long. We could do a part two. No, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> I'm so sorry if we didn't get round to doing your question today, but if you want to see a part two of this video or you want to see us do it the other way around where mum asks me questions, oh. make sure to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I think I'm going to put the little button around here because usually I am. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's, I'm the only one on the screen, so we'll go with around here. A huge, huge thank you to mum for being a part of this video today. <laughs> you were such a good sport. Thank you so much for doing it. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It, was it wasn't okay. as bad as I thought. Really? Oh, good. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.